Mike Ashley, the billionaire tycoon. And then there's his workforce, some of whom he's failed to pay even £6.70 an hour. Pile them high, sell them cheap. But behind the cheery humming, there's been a scandal brewing about the culture of Sports Direct. I really am not enjoying this. And today came the admission. Do you accept that the company was effectively paying workers below the minimum, minimum wage? Uh, on that specific point, for that specific bit of time, yes. Uh, some things have come as a bit of an unpleasant surprise, yes. Could you tell the committee what those unpleasant surprises are? Well, first thing that I looked at was the bottleneck. And that, was, uh, that wasn't our best ever day. What Mr Ashley is referring to is security checks at Shybrook that were adding so much time to staff working hours that they were effectively being paid £6.50 an hour rather than the legal minimum of £6.70. The results of the undercover investigation have led to a formal inquiry by HMRC, confirmed for the first time by Mr Ashley today. But it's not just pay. Union Unite today submitted an explosive dossier packed with details about a company culture full of bullying, where work conditions were likened to that of a gulag. These are conditions that uh, are just unacceptable in 21st century Britain. And if you don't stop it here, of course, the problem that you get is that this then extends itself across the economy. Be uh, bagged up before it gets put on the shelves. The root of the problem is the six strikes and you're out policy on absenteeism. It's enforced so rigorously that sickness and even taking time off to have a baby count against staff, which has created a powder keg of pressure, sparking an unusually high level of accident reports. At the Derbyshire warehouse at the centre of allegations, there have been 110 ambulance call-outs in the last three and a half years. 50 have been classified life-threatening, five involved difficulties in pregnancy, and in one case, a woman gave birth in a toilet. There will be things in a company that size that do happen that shouldn't happen. I didn't build, build Sports Direct, Sports Direct built me. You understand, it, it, it's like having going out one day and you've got a, a, a tiny little inflatable and you're in control and the next wake up one morning and you're an oil tanker. Mike Ashley stands accused of a zero hours culture. In fact, one fifth of all zero hours on the high street are through Sports Direct. Altogether, 79% of his staff are employed on that basis, with just 200 people employed directly at his warehouse and 3,000 through an agency. And on reducing the percentage of staff on zero hours. Some of our top people have come from the zero contract employment. Oh, that sounds positive. Would I think that is a reasonable thing that you're saying? Would I think Sports Direct should be able to review that without me and at least make the easy first little step? So is that a yes? Will there be a change in the makeup of full-time and zero-hour contracts? I've got sympathy, but I'm not sure... So that's a no, then. And he was also pulled up on the company's draconian response to tardiness. If you were a minute late, you got docked 15 minutes pay. You ask me what I think, I think it's unacceptable. You ask me what I think, I think it's unacceptable. If I thought it was acceptable, I wouldn't change it. Then there were the allegations about women being targeted sexually and the response very much in the unique Ashley style. Are you absolutely sure you can sit here and say those, there's no, what do you call, sexual within the office? Harassment. Harassment happening in Sainsbury's? The difference I, is... I think there probably is, and Sports Direct therefore has to pull its socks up. Simple as that, fellas. Not just girls so you, you're socks. accepting there's been a lot of wealth, me. a lot of it's gone to you. Yeah. Uh, you've created a lot of wealth, you've done something absolutely remarkable. Do you think your company has outgrown your ability to manage it? Probably a long time ago. True of the organisation. But he quickly added. And who am I going to easily get to do that that's going to guarantee we get a better income? A um, better income. <laughs> that's the wrong word. <laughs> what do I mean? The result. Outcome. Sorry, did somebody say something at the back? Right, okay. So uh, they were helping me with the words, I think. Even when he makes a mistake, Ashley is master at playing the crowd. Thank you. He left Parliament having done the same with MPs, 
To watch him is to be beguiled. But for Sports Direct, the problems haven't just disappeared, with public scrutiny now zeroing in on the delivery of his promises.